There is continued discontent when the government keeps saying they have no solution to assist the Ugandan household in the face of rising commodity prices. Today, the Kampala City Traders Association added their voice to the discontent. And we want the government to be very direct and exact on telling us in figures, if they can't announce the figures, let the government announce the percentage cuts on every expenditure that goes to the recurrent one. You cannot ask us to bank our money so that it is borrowed by the, bar, the, the government other than encouraging a reduction of expenditure for administration. The ministers, the members of parliament, after all, even the allowances is not subjected to taxation. A good tax system must be equitable. If taxes to be equally paid, the big must, pay, must pay big taxes, the medium pay medium and the small pay small. Regardless of the economic arguments the president made explaining the lack of action by the government physically and in monetary terms, the economic arguments are losing appeal the more the economic conditions bite. The president coming out to say, please tighten your belt. You can only tighten and reduce expenditure on what you have. If you don't have what are you going to economize on? There is nothing that if you can reduce taxes on any kind of beer, whether transparent or opaque, you can reduce some money on the tax of a liter of fuel, whichever it is. Because you know that fuel has a complementary demand. The bakeries, the agriculturists, the shippers of containers, the travelers all use fuel. Therefore, if you reduce by a small margin on the price of fuel, everybody will follow suit because of the complementarity of the demand in the product of fuel. So far, there have been a series of meetings by the top government economists with the promise of devising solutions, but nothing concrete has so far been produced while the prices continue to rise and the incomes do not. Joyce Ahewa, NTV Business.